What's good, YouTube? Mathematica News is back. That's right. And uh, feds charged four in connection with street gang drug ring. False police along with agents from the FBI Safe Street Task Force and deputies with the Niagara County Sheriff's Office say they've taken down a narcotics distribution network operated by Falls and Rochester-based members of the Crip criminal street gang. The roughly 10-month-long investigation of the Crip subset involved intercepted phone conversations, physical surveillance, and controlled drug buys using undercover detectives and confidential sources. The investigation has resulted in the arrest of Cameron Killer Cam Lee, Sean Ghost Pryor, Michael I. Key Pryor, and Amaja Green, all of the falls on a federal charge of conspiracy to possess with intent to distribute and distribute heroin, cocaine, and fentanyl. The charge carries a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison and a million dollar fine. See, man, I'm going to tell y'all again. Get out of the drug game. Them people is watching. I'm telling you. They watching and they listening. You know what I'm saying? Now, they, they, they let this go on for 10 months. They let this go on for 10 months. And if 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 you dudes talking street activity on the cell phone, you might as well turn yourself in. Because they're going to let you get so far. You know what I'm saying? Like, just turn yourself in. That's it. If you if you selling drugs and you selling drugs and you got your phone in your pocket, you got OnStar in your car, you got some type of camera around you or TV, I advise you to just turn yourself in because they are coming. They're going to come after you, especially if you in deep. If you in deep, just know that your number going to get called one day. That number is going to get called one day. You know what I'm saying? Whether if it's you going to prison or, God forbid, you know what I'm saying, bullets come your way. You know what I'm saying? Your number will get called. And a lot of these these drug dealers are stupid because you putting all your weight, guns and stuff inside your house that you sleep in. If you're going to sell drugs, at least get the drugs out your house away from your family. You know what I'm saying? So when they do come in your house... They can't find nothing. You dudes got thousands of dollars laying around with, with your drugs in the house with you that you sleeping in. Like, that's a no-no. That, that's, that's over with. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to sell drugs, have you a safe house or whatever. And even if you got a safe house, somebody's still watching. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a lose-lose situation when you're selling drugs. I'm going to tell you that now. Especially if them, them, them cops on your radar. Where, where y'all think the drugs coming from? Who y'all think going to catch on to who's ordering or buying these large quantities of drugs? Because we, we, don't, we don't know how to make no drugs. We can't make no drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody going to always tell. It's, it's going to be somebody that's always snitching. So I want y'all to keep that in mind while y'all out there doing that dirt and, it's, and, and selling them drugs. Just just know that somebody is telling on you. Somebody is, is ratting you out. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get far. And if you do get far, it'll start crumbling down when you get up to the top. You know what I'm saying? Today is about honesty and, and, and honest honest living. You know what I'm saying? So, so you could pass something down to your family or your great-great-grandkids or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You you can't do that by being a drug dealer when you're going against the number one drug dealers of this world, which is the government. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all be safe. Be careful, man. Peace.